Welcome to Technology Paul. It's that time again, I'm going to take you through the major cell carriers in Canada and run you through all of the cell phone plans that are available. Once I do that, I'll tell you who has the cheapest plan, who has the best additional features, and the best all around plan to buy for most people. And by the way, while I was prepping this video, I created a detailed spreadsheet that has all these plans in it, and I'm willing to share it with you if you wanna dig in further. I'll also be sharing an updated copy once a quarter for those cell plan nerds like me who like to keep an eye on the market. So I'll tell you how you can sign up for that at the end of the video. Now, a couple of ground rules before we begin. First off, we're going to review the plans from the eight major carriers across Canada. Bell, Rogers, TELUS, Fido, Kudo, Virgin Plus, Freedom Mobile, and Shaw Mobile. And we're only looking at postpaid plans. There are plenty of prepaid plans out there, but that's probably a different video I could do at some point. We're just gonna look at postpaid plans today. Additionally, we're looking at plans that offer 4G and 5G only. There are plans out there that offer 3G data, like it's still 2005, but honestly, these phone plans are so painful to use that it's just not worth getting, so we won't be touching those. As well, we're only looking at plans that have unlimited calling and texting across Canada. In 2023, that's really the standard offering, and anything less is unacceptable in my view. So essentially, the main factors we're looking at are, how much data do you get? What is the price you pay? Or are there any additional perks or benefits included in the plan. So let's dig in. All right, let's start with Bell. Bell currently offers four different cell phone plans. The first plan offers 25 gigabytes of data for $85. The second plan offers 45 gigabytes of data for $95, and it includes the additional benefits such as unlimited international SMS, as well as 24 months of Crave Mobile. If you're unfamiliar, Crave is the service in Canada that offers the latest originals from Crave, HBO, HBO Max, and Showtime, as well as an access to the entire HBO back catalog. That's actually a pretty cool offering. The only downside is that Crave Mobile only offers the service through the app. If you want to watch on your big screen, you have to subscribe to Crave Total. But according to Bell, you can apply the credit you get for Crave Mobile to Crave Total and pay the difference. Now back to the plans. They also offer 60 gigabytes of data for $105. And they've actually updated this plan since my last video in the summer where it was previously 50 gigabytes. So this is an improvement. And this is a roaming plan, meaning it works in both the US and Canada, and you'll get all the same features no matter which country you're in. Then there's a new fourth plan offering 100 gigabytes of data for $125. Like the previous one, it's also a roaming plan. Now over to Fido, which offers five different cell phone plans. They have two gigabytes for $37.50, four gigabytes for $41.25, eight gigabytes for $55, 10 gigabytes for $60, and 15 gigabytes for $65. Overall, Fido's pricing has gotten a little bit worse since last year. The 15 gigabyte plan used to cost $60 instead of $65, and they used to offer a 20 gigabyte plan for $65 but they still have some decent options available. Now on to Freedom Mobile, which offers six different cell phone plans. The first plan offers seven gigabytes of data for $35. The second plan offers 10 gigabytes of data for $45. And these first two plans are new additions. And it's nice to see the lower price point available with a plan starting at $35. The third plan offers 20 gigabytes of data for $50 and includes one gigabyte of nationwide data, meaning you can use it outside the home zone. Remember that Freedom Mobile home zones are limited to about 10 cities in Canada and if you're outside of that you'll be using the nationwide data so keep that in mind if you frequently travel outside of the city this may not be the carrier for you then they also offer 25 gigabytes of data for $55 and 35 gigabytes for 65 both of which also come with one gigabyte of nationwide then they have a plan that's 55 gigabytes of data for $90 and includes 4 gigabytes of nationwide data. 
Kudo Mobile offers six different cell phone plans. They've got two gigabytes for $37.50, four gigabytes of data for $41.25, six gigabytes for $45, eight gigabytes for $55, 10 gigabytes of data for $60, and 15 gigabytes of data for $65. You'll notice that the six gigabyte through 15 gigabyte plan offers a free perk of either unlimited international SMS or premium voicemail at no extra cost. And the 8 gigabyte through 15 gigabyte plans offer a $120 bill credit for a limited time. Next up, Rogers. Rogers offers six different cell phone plans. First, they have a five gigabyte plan for $50, as well as a 15 gigabyte plan for $60. These first two plans offer 4G speeds only, by the way, which is partially why they're a bit cheaper. Every other plan offers 5G, such as the 25 gigabyte plan for $85. They also have a plan that offers 40 gigabytes of data for $95 and includes unlimited international SMS and six months of Disney Plus. So Rogers is also offering a streaming service here. I guess it might depend on if you'd rather have Crave or Disney, but Disney is what Rogers is offering. Okay, they also offer 60 gigabytes of data for $105, as well as 100 gigabytes of data for $125. Both the 60 gigabyte and 100 gigabyte plans are roaming plans, meaning they work in both Canada and the US. Also, I want to note that the 100 gigabyte plan used to cost $175, and it now costs $125. The plan price has come down by a whopping $50. I felt $175 was too high when I reviewed this in the summer, so it's good to see that Rogers has come to their senses. Let's talk about Shaw Mobile, which offers three different cell phone plans. The first plan offers zero gigabytes of data for $15. Yes, you heard me right, they're offering zero gigabytes of data. But the idea is that you'll be able to purchase rollover data by the gig for $10 per gigabyte. This is for people who have extremely low data usage. Each gigabyte of data you buy is good for for up to 90 days. Assuming you can make that last, you'll spend $15 a month for the plan and $10 every 90 days for data, meaning your effective cost is $18 a month. That is indeed pretty cheap. Now, next up, they have a 25 gigabyte plan for $85, and that includes two gigabytes of nationwide data. You'll remember that concept from Freedom Mobile, which has the same parent company as Shaw Mobile. So you're using the same network with home and away zones. So again, this plan isn't for the road tripper or the camper or anyone who leaves the city, basically. They also have a roaming plan, which offers 25 gigabytes of data for $95 and includes two gigabytes of nationwide data that can also be used in the US and Mexico as well as Canada. Okay, on to another discount carrier. Virgin Plus offers six different cell phone plans. They now offer two gigabytes for $37.50, four gigabytes for $41.25, six gigabytes for $45, eight gigabytes for $55, 10 gigabytes for $60, and 15 gigabytes for $65. They've also got promotional rates going on right now, giving you a $10 discount on their top Top three plans for 12 months, meaning the $55 plan is now $45, the $60 plan is now $50, and the $65 plan is now $55. And last but certainly not least, we have TELUS, which offers four different cell phone plans. They've got a 25 gigabyte plan for $85 and a 50 gigabyte plan for $95. They've also got a couple of roaming plans available that work in both the US and Canada. Those options are 60 gigabytes of data for $105 or 100 gigabytes of data for $125. All right, so let's get into discussing what the best plans are on the market currently. First off, if you're just concerned about cost, I'd recommend you check out Shaw Mobile if you live in one of the cities that it serves. You can get the $15 by the gig plan and just pay $10 per gig as needed, making your effective cost just $18 a month. However, if you're not in those areas, you can also take a look at Kudo, Virgin, or Fido, which all have a plan for $37.50 and gives you two gigabytes of data. It's not a lot to work with, but it's under $40, which is quite reasonable. 
If you find you need a lot of data, like maybe you're on the go constantly or you're a truck driver or something, I'm really liking the looks of the plans from Bell, Rogers, and Telus, who each have a 100 gigabyte plan for $125. Obviously, you would be a pretty heavy data user to take advantage of these plans, but I like the fact that they've come down in price. Effectively, you're paying $1.25 per gigabyte, which on that scale is technically the best value you can get. In terms of additional perks, I'd go for either Bell or Rogers plans from 60 gigabytes and up. I like them because they offer the roaming ability, meaning your plan works in both the US and Canada, but they also offer Crave Mobile or Disney Plus. Technically, Bell is offering a full 24 months of Crave Mobile, which is pretty significant. But what's the plan that most people should get? Well, it's estimated that the average North American uses between three gigabytes and five gigabytes of data per month, meaning that you don't really need these 50, 60, or 100 gigabyte plans, generally speaking. In fact, most people should get the eight gigabyte plan from one of Fido, Kudo, or Virgin Plus, and they all charge $55 for this plan. Eight gigabytes gives you more than enough as an average user to get through the month, and $55 is in the middle of the price range that I consider to be not too bad of a value overall. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments about which plan you think is best. Now, I promised I'd share the source data with you on all of these plans if you're interested. In my previous videos, I've had many people ask for this raw data, and I'm happy to share it with you completely free of charge. You can get access to this spreadsheet, which I'll be updating regularly, and has all the plans I just showed you on it. Plus, it has additional price points listed for share plans and additional lines from Bell, Rogers, and Telus. It's gonna be a great resource for you to keep as a bookmark. To get the spreadsheet, all you have to do is follow the link in the description and sign up for my brand new monthly newsletter. That's right, I'm launching a Technology Paul newsletter and I'll be sending it out monthly to start. I'll be sharing additional thoughts, ideas, and tips that didn't make it into my videos on all of the tech topics that I know you're interested in, including new smartphones, home automation, subscriptions, and gaming related content. And this is how I'll share new exclusive content with my audience, specifically folks who sign up for the newsletter will get the extra stuff like this cellular plan spreadsheet and I'll be doing more over time. So again, just check out the link in the description, sign up for my newsletter and you'll receive an email with the link to the spreadsheet. That's all for today, folks. I hope you found this video informative and interesting. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more technology related content and to stay up to date on cellular plans in Canada. It's a topic that I revisit every few months. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.